you can have higher chances of creating more meaningful and deeper relationships with other people if you simply considered a few things. Some people are able to form quicker relationships with other people because they understand these concepts on a subconscious level. Although friendships can never be forced, but there are ways where it's more likely to happen. Hi, my name is Augustus and I help people elevate their social maturity so they can have the social life that they want. And if that's you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and of course the bell. So we all know that first impressions are incredibly important, but the second and third conversations are where your relationships really deepens. Following up with people are what allows for these conversations to happen. This can be text, social media, email, a short hi, something to maintain that connection until your next conversation. If you maintain these small touch points from time to time, then there's more chance that this will develop into something more. This doesn't have to be constant texting because we don't want to annoy people. It can be once a week or once a month. Things like, I saw that movie that we talked about last time, or a relevant article, or a funny video. Following up seems really small, but this is what gives you opportunity to deepen the relationships. But something else that you also want to consider is where you are finding your relationships. Not all events are good for socializing, so you want to focus on events that allows for more sharing and connecting. A movie isn't very interactive, but if people are hanging out afterwards, then it might be something worth going. On the other hand, if you're trying to find deep friendships while playing video games, it might be much harder because the focus is purely entertainment on that platform. Look for groups that are more welcoming and building up. Toastmasters, CrossFit, church, running groups, book groups. These type of events provides more chances and room for you and other people to get to know each other. But now, how do you actually find people within these groups that wants deeper relationships? But however, the first important point here is don't assume that other people don't want to talk to you because you don't feel that interesting as a person. If they are still talking and engaging with you, Assume that they want to and everything's fine. Now here are some short questions that you can ask yourself to identify the person that also want that relationship. 1. Are they also asking you questions? 2. Are they giving you room to speak? 3. Are they talking over you? We are asking these questions because we want to actively find people that are respectful towards other people, not self-centered, and also interested in talking to you. If you like these tips, I also have a free mini class on if you want to feel less self-conscious and more confident about yourself, and it's in the link somewhere. If you have other questions on making more meaningful relationships, just leave them in the comments and I'll try to get to them as best as I can. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys next time.